Yes, welcome back to another Star Made Logic tutorial. My name is Bench and we have a super quick one here for you. We've got a activation module here that we push and it will turn off itself after a time. So it's a new mono stable that's severely less blocks than what we had last time and we'll be using this in some videos soon. So let's get into it and see how easy this is to build. So we've got the area we're going to place it. So we'll put the activation module down and we'll hit C on it. Uh, that way it's selected. You can see it's going now. And we're going to place down an AND and a delay. Now, it should connect normally like this, glowing purple. If they're not connected, you can always go and push V on each. Um, now, we're not going to connect these two together. We're going to grab the delay and put it into a knot. And then... We're going to, pushing R, just toggle the delay uh, on and off so that this lights up. Finally, we're going to grab that knot and put it into the AND. And then select the AND and put it back into the activation module. So, you can see activation module into the AND and the delay. The delay into the knot. The knot into the AND. And then the AND back into the activation module. And what happens is we'll push it, and then it is going to turn our activation module off after this delay. So what happens is, when you first push this on, this AND gate will go on, and then this will also light up. A half second later, this turns off. So this AND gate is being turned on because this activation module is on, and also this NOT is on. And so it sends the signal to the activation module to be on. But because it's already on, because it activated it, you won't see that change. Um, after this delay, though, this NOT gate goes off, and it turns this AND off, which turns this off again. So it's really compact. If you want to make the delay longer, you just add additional delays into the um, circuit, like so. And it will let that cycle through. And now when we push it, it stays on for a second, and then we'll go off. So, that is how you build the new updated monostable. Um, it's a good way to reset. You'll see it in another video coming out soon, and I'll probably be using it for a lot of videos um, a lot of the circuits just to keep this circuitry down low, but it's a really compact design and uh, I hope you get many many uses out of it until next time My name is Bench and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching another star made video We release videos every second day, so don't forget to subscribe